Hi, welcome to the valley. My name? Well, which one do you want? Yeah, we all have two. Well, there's your real name, which is the one that you're stuck with. But then there's your porn name, which is whatever you want it to be. You actually have to register it. It costs five bucks. Three bucks in your pocket, and it costs five to get your name. The company, The Civilians, uh, we are always interested in doing subjects that maybe musical theater hasn't touched before, really. We spent a few months in the San Fernando Valley interviewing people on porn sets, going to the homes of porn stars, talking to producers and directors. We took all those interviews and uh, created a show about sort of a year in the life of the porn industry. Everything's based on their real words. And I wrote songs based on those interviews as well. Bess Wall wrote the book. I like to think it's a kind of strangely innocent view of the adult film industry. You only get 720 an hour working the weekend shift at Hardee's. And my boyfriend is the only boy in town who isn't a total jerk. And most girls give blowjobs to boys they barely know at college parties. And most adults in this town are making meth or out of work. My mom won't let up with her shit. My principal keeps staring at my tits. And that's not even the half of it, no. I'm Elise Allen Lewis, and I play Becky in Pretty Filthy. Becky, when we see her at the start of the show, is 17. She's from the Midwest. She aspires to be a porn star. She's watched them and wants to be just like them, craves that attention. She turns 18 and she heads to um, the West Coast to pursue porn. And when I get there to California, I'll be a porn star. These girls, these remarkable girls, so needy and so crazy. Impossible Girls is a brilliant character song. It's a love song, really, to these girls that come in that want to be porn stars that might not necessarily understand it. They're good people, they just have to learn about the business side of it. I play Sam Spiegel, uh, the agent. He's the gateway into the industry. People will assume that these women are being exploited sexually by men like Sam Spiegel, but in reality, these are people who are actually empowering these women into working for themselves, into saving their money. Rich and famous take the rich! <laughs> and like a lot of girls think rich and famous are the same, and that's why lots of famous porn stars have no money. My name is Luba Mason, and I'm playing Georgina Congress, who is a porn star in her mature years. Remember back in the day when there was Bush? Oh yeah, we're doing the cast recording today. I don't care if I work at McDonald's or if I'm the president of the United States. If I don't like it and do it for money, then I The climax of Becky and Bobby. You know it can be hard dating and being in the industry. Taylor works all day, then Becky comes home to Bobby. But sometimes she feels like Taylor when she's having sex. I think my favorite with Bobby. song would be Becky and Bobby, the duet that we sing together. About having sex on camera. My name is Marek Smith. I play Bobby. Bobby is uh, your average American boy next door who loves his girlfriend a whole lot. I follow her out to California to support her in any way I can. It's hard to know the difference between who you are and who that is on camera. And tell me if you say I love you, is it me or just the fantasy? And if you say it 
to anybody which one is the fantasy in the song becky and bobby are kind of talking about taylor and dick which are their porn personas we're spending all day sleeping with other people as other people and then we have to come home to each other at night and then talking about the interaction between them as real people and their porn selves how do we negotiate intimacy which one is the fantasy is what i'm doing during the day with other people is that the fantasy he is a nice guy but dick is more exciting and if dick performs with taylor what becomes of becky and bobby and having sex after having sex all day is complicated when i was younger i really slept around i loved to please women to drive them really mad it wasn't altruistic it worked out in my favor it's my hands down or hands up hands in favorite moment of the show are we gonna talk about female ejaculation turns out we are i was browsing and i found the sexuality section fredo he loves women he loves making people squirt and being proud of that is not an act of arrogance, it's an act of love. The dialogue line that isn't in the recording that I lead in with is that it's supposed to be fun. I mean, that's what porn is about. And then go, I just read this book all about the G-spot. Let's find it. So we're in the bathroom, laying on the floor. Where is it? Slowly trying for like 15 minutes more. Where is it? And then she just went, oh my god, she just squirted like crazy, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, she was shaking, let's try again. We live in a porn house. Performing something on stage and, and recording it, you've got to take your physical performance and shrink it down to put it into somebody's ear. And it's a more intimate experience. You really get to hear some of these really awesome lyrics that Michael Friedman uh, has cobbled together, masterfully cobbled. I'm excited to hear what it all sounds like together. So we shoot girl girl scenes. So we shoot girl girl scenes and solo scenes and cheerleader scenes and interracial scenes. And when you look around, it's like a dream come true. People watching you. It feels like home. The actors especially have just been so um, willing to do anything and also just willing to go there and give all of themselves to something and a very difficult show to perform. And they were, uh, every single one of them, just spectacular to work with. You've got a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Dirty, kind of jazzy, more ballady, traditional musical theater. And it's innovative and it's about an industry that people don't know very much about. I think the music is amazing. I think the approach to the lyrics uh, was my favorite. This is not a parody. We're not making fun of these people. These are real people. All of these characters in this show are so relatable. And to hear this real text, it's a thrill. And to watch the rest of my cast learn this real text from the interviews and bring their own spin to it was incredible, really. It was an incredible experience. We just are one big happy family doing this pretty filthy show. Our means and that is the family we made and that's how the bills get paid that's how we play house and then go get laid and if you squint your eyes and don't look back and don't think too hard and let it go just let it go it feels like home cause we'll shoot anything really anything anything